So in this video I want to show you how to make a perfect fish stock like how it's done in the top end restaurants and I will show you every tip and trick so stay with me until the end. So the first thing you need to do you need to wash your fish bones really well. So I'll tell you a little bit about fish bones later on but you need to make sure that they're really really clean. So you basically cover them with cold water, let them stand for half an hour and then strain it off and change the water three to four times until you find that the water is quite clean. The one thing you have to take out are the gills. Like you can see here my fish doesn't have any gills. The gills can make the stock very bitter. Some chefs take the eyes out as well but you don't really have to do that. So after you washed your bones and you soaked them, so cover them with water, let them stand for half an hour, strain it off, do that three to four times and through that you're gonna get a very very clean fish stock later on. If you don't do that the fish stock will be cloudy, you will have a lot of foam on the top and it's all the things you don't want to have in there because it can make it taste quite bitter and a bit unpleasant. But what we want today is a perfectly clear fish stock that you can use for a sauce like a velouté sauce or risotto or any other use you want to have or if you just want to make a fish jelly or you want to eat it plain. So what are the right fish bones? So the right fish bones will be something ideally a wild fish, a white fish, some people say salmon is not suitable. It basically applies to all farm fish. Farm fish are not so good for fish stocks. So now you can see me straining off the water. So that's, I washed it three times. I strain off the water and then I will cook it. So when you cook your fish stock, you need to think that fish has a very different muscular structure than for example, a land animal because fish lives in such a dense environment. So fish, doesn't need that long cooking time to dissolve the connective tissue or the collagen. So in case of fish, it's going to happen literally once it comes to the boil, all the collagen will basically go out of the fish and that's the main thing what you do with a fish stock. You don't cook it that long. If you cook it too long, it becomes soapy, it becomes bitter. So the best thing you can do is now pack all those fish bones into a pot as tight as you can because as more fish bones you have, as stronger your stock will be. Then you add some vegetables. So the vegetables need to be finely chopped. In my case I have carrots, celery, leek, parsley stalk, herb stalks. You can add some peppercorns to it, bay leaf, whatever you want or whatever direction you want to go to. If you want to make it more Asian you obviously lose some different vegetables. So then just pack it all in. The vegetables need to be finely chopped because a fish stock you literally only cook it for half an hour. If you cook it too long it becomes bitter, it becomes soapy and it's not so good. So then the next thing is white wine. So I put a bottle of white wine on mine because it gives it a nice acidity and because what I want to do later on I can add some lemons as well and then I just cover that with water. So make sure you cover that with cold water. So everything in there should be fairly cold. Now the wine is something you don't have to do but it just adds that beautiful flavor especially if you make a sauce or risotto out of it later on. So then just cover that all and then switch the heat on and bring it to the boil as fast as you can. So you really have to bring that to a very very quick boil and that will make the stock much cleaner, much clearer. So here we go. So it's all coming to the boil now and as you can see me here the vegetables they need to be quite small. If they're not that small you will not get the flavor out of the vegetables. You need to think with any stock you only add the vegetables for the last half an hour because that gives it a nice vegetable infusion. If you add the vegetables too early, like for example a chicken stock or a beef stock, you will find that the onions cook apart, the carrots cook apart, it makes your stock cloudy and later on your stock has a very unclean flavor. So if you want to have a clean flavor, you do a vegetable infusion, like you see me doing here with my fish stock. And then you bring it to the boil. So what fish bones do you use? Ideally use fish bones from big fish, white fish. Now there's the talk about salmon doesn't make you good for salmon bones don't make a good fish stock and that is true if it's farmed fish. So any farmed fish will not make it as great as a stock as wild fish will. So now it's coming to the boil and that's all I want to do. I bring it to one strong boil and then I sort of let it simmer around. So towards the end then when I just stop cooking it which I did now so I cooked it for 30 minutes 
I can add some lemons to it, but you need to make sure that the lemons are super ripe. The lemons need to be extremely ripe. If the lemons are unripe, they will, you know, the white pith can make it very bitter. So if you don't have any ripe lemons, just leave them out. But if you put lemons, ripe lemons in it, you will find that they give the fish stock that really nice lemony flavor. Plus it adds a bit of more acidity. So just when you stop the boiling process, that's when you do the lemon slice infusion. So just throw the lemons in there and now you need to let the stock stand for two to three hours. That's the time it needs for all the collagen to leak out. So it actually does need to boil because fish is already cooked at 55 degrees. So that stock is far hotter. So all the collagen will just leach out and if you don't do that you will not get that nice jelly chicken st uh, fish stock as you see here. So it's very important that the stock stands for two hours after you cooked it for half an hour and through that you then strain it off and I pre-made that and you can see I put it in the fridge and I got that really nice jelly like stock so I hope you enjoyed my video if you did please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing it in one of my other videos. And